I am Dr. Niaz and in the next half an hour I am going to talk about uh, Suboxone Treatment Program and it is very important to l see this program and listen carefully because the content of this program is designed in such a way that the people who are going to get Suboxone Treatment would be most beneficial. Uh, first, uh, let me tell you what is Suboxone. This is, this is the name of a medicine which is called buprenorphine in combination with naloxone. So the first thing is what is buprenorphine? Buprenorphine is another narcotic which is a schedule 2 drug. And naloxone is antidote of buprenorphine which negate the effect of buprenorphine. So why it is combined together? The reason why it is combined together is if buprenorphine which is used for, um, for the addiction or drug dependence program uh, is somebody try to adulterate or try to use in a way which is he or she is is not assigned to use then the naloxone part become activated for example if somebody try to crush the prescription and shoot it or somebody try to swallow the prescription remember this medication is is required to be taken under the tongue that's called sublingual if somebody take it by mouth then the naloxone part will be um, activated and negate the effect. So that that uh, uh, that is very important to know that you have to take the medicine as is it prescribed. Otherwise, you may go into withdrawal. And this is also true. Um, Sometimes people uh, try to give um, a medicine uh, considering that it could, it is good for pain or it is good for somebody is going through withdrawal process or some other reason. And if you share it, it's, it's possible that the other person may go into withdrawal because it has a naloxone in it. So, so the the first thing you remember is you have to take it as prescribed. Now, the second thing is, as I mentioned to you, it is used for drug dependence and addiction pro, uh, program, which is office based, which is somewhat different than the methadone program. But, the, but there are certain requirements in the program. Number one, the requirement is that the program require that you need to come for detoxification. What is detoxification? Detoxification, detoxification is a process in which we will clean your system. For example, if you are taking heroin. So when you come, we will try to clean heroin. How it does it? We will ask you to come uh, not taking heroin at least 24 hours prior to our office visit on the day of detoxification. And so, so you literally are going through withdrawal. So that exactly what we are going to do. We are going to monitor withdrawal as, as the level of the heroin is going down from your body you, you experience withdrawal we are going to introduce um, suboxone or buprenorphone and um, basically in detoxification we use plain buprenorphine and, uh, and and we will see how much you need to control the withdrawal symptoms and to control your craving so in other words you will be under control after the medication, after the detoxification. Detoxification process may take a few hours. So you will come in the office, we'll check your vital sign, we'll explain you. Probably you have to view this video and then we will give you the medications after all the precautions and then you stay in the office and we will determine how much you need it and we want you to be out of all the side effects, uh, all the withdrawals um, of the medications before you leave so that we know that this is the amount of, of drug that you need, I mean by the drug I mean Suboxone, that you need on an ongoing basis to control your drug dependence. So in other words, you get a chance now instead of chasing the street drug, now you can focus on constructive activities like go out and work, 
join education and training program. So you will become productive. That's our goal, to take you out of the street and to make you productive. Now, since first you have to understand that, I mean, it is not so easy as it sounds because number one, what is addiction? Addiction is something which is in your genes, meaning you have a tendency. You have a tendency to hook to drugs and that runs in your genes, that runs, that you have a tendency. So in other words, if you expose to drug, you will, you have a higher tendency to get to drugs as compared to other people who don't have that tendency. For example, some people introduce to smoking and after the first cigarette they hook to smoking. On the other hand, other people may smoke for many, many months, still they are not hooked to and they may be able to uh, quit smoking. In the same way, some person just take one heroin uh, shot or or smoke one cigarette with heroin and they hook to it. On the other hand, um, other people may be experienced but they are able to manage it. So you have a tendency. In order to control that a tendency, is not only just the medication, you also require to go for counseling. Remember, counseling is the part of the program. If you don't go for counseling, we, we may not be able to continue with the program. So, medication plus counseling. Where to go for counseling? The office will give you the list of pl places, generally health departments or drug anonymous, many places, but we want some, uh, some place which is a uh, peer control or certified counselor preferably will give you counseling. You can choose group counseling, you can choose individual counseling, but we should know where you are going for counseling, we should be able to confirm it, and you bring some sort of attendance with you whenever you come for the visits. So this is detoxification and counseling. So as I mentioned that this is something in your body to hook to drug, it means you are required to be monitored very closely. And if you don't do that, you have a chance to go back to the addiction. So we will ask you to, if possible, to change your environment. Because if you are living in the same company um, uh, which is giving you drugs, the chances are you will again involve. So we advise people, particularly young teenagers, that you should be out of the, um, out of the, uh, the same company or change your environment try to not mix with those environment also i have seen people who involve their family members wives husbands parents brothers sister anybody if the family involved the chance of success is very high than compared to the people who don't have anyone other thing is people who have a psychiatric conditions people who have a depression people have a um, post-traumatic stress syndrome, people who have a significant psychiatric condition and if their psychiatric conditions are not controlled, they have a more tendency to hook to drugs. So if you have a, um, so generally we ask people to go and see psychiatric doctor and that doesn't mean that we are telling you that you are crazy, but it helps. So, and we wouldn't want to, um, to, uh, um, leave you in a condition where it becomes very difficult for you to be out of the drug um, condition. So you need, if you, we ask you to see a psychiatric doctor, you, you, you should see the, uh, the doctor or the counselor or the psychologist. It is in your benefit. It will make you more successful. Another thing I have seen, people who have some goals in life, for example, people who are working, they are better successful than person who doesn't work. Uh, they are just disabled and sitting there and doing uh, drug often time. They don't have nothing to do. So that, that's the only thing they do is they do drugs. So we encourage people and we like to, and that's something we look into who qualify because remember, they are on methadone treatment program also. If we feel like that there's somebody is just um, doing nothing and not be able to be, um, uh, um, productive or do any meaningful activity, we may think whether you qualify for the uh, program or not because this, if you able to do something constructive, your ch chances of success increases.
So there are many measures. These are some of the things which I mentioned that uh, that are needed for you to um, to uh, to see, uh, to look into how the program will be more successful, how you make it more successful. Now, as I mentioned to you, um, this is a schedule two drug, so it's have a very high uh, abuse potential. Uh, schedule two means very high potential. And uh, Suboxone is Schedule 3 just because it has naloxone, but Buprobenorphine is Schedule 2. So when it is such a uh, drug which can be uh, abused, again, this is another narcotic, uh, similar narcotic which is sold on the street also. So why are we using? Because it is a less evil than the one you are doing. So it has a better control. It does generally does not give as much euphoria or uh, um, as the steel drug give. So it is a lesser evil, but being a narcotic, it carries the side effect. And what are the side effects? Some of the side effects you should know, some of the side effects we give in printed format also. But let me tell you some of the basic side effects, or, or you can say most common side effect. As this is narcotic group, you may have constipation, GI problems, you are, you are required to drink more water, eat more fibers and if you need we will uh, give you coleus which is over the counter stool softener or something which is something you can talk to the doctor. Another uh, problem with the drug is is the respiratory depression. This medicine like narcotics can affect your breathing capacity. So if you have a pulmonary condition like asthma, like COPD, respiratory failure or emphysema or anything make sure you talk to the doctor that you have a condition if you have a pulmonary doctor you better inform that i am take i'm taking this uh, medication because that can affect your breathing capacity and inform the doctor so we, he will do accordingly uh, uh, monitor you in your breathing capacity by doing pulmonary function test or may see whether you need oxygen or something so it, it, it has a side effect on, on the lung remember the side effects it can affect your um, mental capacity so do not combine it with alcohol or any drugs like benzodiazepine uh, marijuana or any other narcotics and if a doctor prescribe if your psychiatric doctor is giving you something benzodiazepine make sure you inform that you are on on, on a drug treatment program so uh, it, it does not mean that they will not prescribe you they still can prescribe you if you need it uh, for medical reasons but you, they, they, need, they need to monitor you. So many people think, if I tell the psychiatric doctor, maybe we'll stop it, then what will happen? So they keep on doing, no, they just need to monitor you. And it's good to inform everybody so that uh, the psychiatric doctor, us and other doctors will work together, that's in your interest. So do not hide the information. So other side effect is commonly uh, related to the women that if they become pregnant, children born uh, will be dependent on this medication. That means once they are, uh, when the child is born, they have to go through withdrawal process. Generally, we do not advise them to stop this medication during pregnancy, but if you are planning to become pregnant, you inform before us, uh, before pregnancy, um, that you are intent to be pregnant so that we may wean you off prior to the pregnancy. Once you are pregnant, it is uh, difficult to wean you off because it can spark abortion. Uh, another side effect um, is a cardiac dysrhythmia because this medication sometimes increase the Q2 interval and it can affect the, the heart. So any medication particularly combined with increase the Q2 interval, uh, it, it can cause you cardiac um, uh, rhythm irregularities. What that implies? inform the heart doctor. If you have a heart problem, inform the doctor. So he can do EKG, he can do the right test, he can monitor you. There are many other side effects. I'm pretty sure you have a printed um, um, uh, uh, literature to give you. But the good news is I have used it in many patients. Generally, generally people are happy with it because if they give them control, if you give them new life, they can focus on constructive and productive activities. Now, since this is a controlled medication, we like to monitor and we like to monitor in a, in a very strict way. So, 
uh, and how we monitor. We, uh, you should know that. The first thing is we'll give you a prescription which is temper proof. If you try to change it or try to make any changes or adulterate in any shape or form, we will discharge you and we will know it. How we know it? Either the pharmacy tell us or from time to time we also call the pharmacy to check it how much medication you are getting. If the pharmacy says that oh no he's not getting two, he's taking three, then and 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 if we find out that you change it, then that's we will discharge you right away. Some people try to see if, if, if medication is written like four pills, they just add one, it becomes fourteen. We keep a copy of every prescription. So we compare it with the prescription and if the pharmacy called us and generally pharmacies are good in that and they give us a call and then we find it then there is no excuse. You cannot expect us that we will give you because you are crying and no other doctor is giving you and uh, it affects your uh, livelihood, it affects your job or children. We, we, we have one policy if you adulterate the pre prescription we will let you go. You will not write the prescription. Second thing is we do not replace it. People come and say that um, we lost the prescription, we lost the medication. No, you have to be careful about your medication. If you travel, you just carry the amount of medication that you need for traveling uh, in, in, in the box. Remember, you can carry it, but it, it, it has to be in the prescription box. You cannot mix it with any other medication or, or put it in a, another bottle which doesn't have your name and the prescriber name. You cannot travel with that. You have to carry the original prescription. But I would suggest you be careful. If you lose it, we will not replace it. Same applies if some stolen drugs, we don't replace it. People say, oh, we have a police report. Also, because we, our experience says that if we try to do it with one patient, we get a whole large number of patients coming to our office that they lost prescription. So our policy is do not replace it. You have to be safeguard your prescription. Uh, and another thing is that if we find out from somebody that you are sharing your medication, we will not give it to you. And also you are supposed to take the amount you prescribe. You cannot use for other purpose. Some people say, I have a back pain and I thought it is good. I started taking three when it was prescribed to, we will not replace it. So. And we will discharge you then because this is a scheduled drug and that's one of the way we find the person is really hooked to this drug when he started suddenly taking more. Another is urine toxicology. We, we check urine toxicology, generally we check it on every visit but we may not need to check every visit. But if we check it, your urine should show the medication prescribed and should not show any medication which is not prescribed. This is extremely important. Um, we also allow you to choose one pharmacy. You can choose the pharmacy uh, which, whichever you want to go, but you have to give the name and the name will be written on the prescription pad that this is the pharmacy who, which will fill your prescription. So, and we are, uh, give it for a small duration, sometimes one week, some people get two weeks, some people three weeks, generally not more than one month. But that goes after a long period of time. We start you with the weekly dosage and when we see that, okay, you are able to do, you are going for counseling, you are productive, you are working, you are doing good, you look good, you are a different personality, we will put you more duration, two week and then three week and then four week. Generally, we don't give more than four week from our office. Um, another thing is uh, people ask that how long I will take? You can take it as long as you uh, feel like um, that you are under control. Generally, when we see a person is taking for a lot, long period of time and he's ready to uh, stop, then we wean off slowly. We reduce it. If you are taking two, then one and a half for a few weeks or a few months, and then one, depending on how you are performing. We don't rush, and we don't want you to rush because if if you stop it prematurely you may as i told you earlier you have a tendency you will hook to drugs in no time and also remember uh, we are have a uh, license for 100 treatment so is a limited space so if we discharge you we will not take you back because we have a, a limited uh, number of patients who we can treat 
so overall let me give you I am not here to scare you but you have to understand that you are taking a responsibility and the responsibility that you will use the medications as prescribed you will use it only for the purpose of drug dependence and not else and you will use the prescription by yourself you will come and give us a urine toxicology another thing we do for uh, monitoring is we ask you to come for pills counting uh, or or, 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 or if you are taking films, we ask you to, go, um, to bring all your films. Suppose if we call you, you have to have the valid telephone number in our office where we can reach you. Within 24 hours, you have to come up with the remaining prescription which we will see that you are taking it. That will help us to uh, uh, prevent diversion. Again, uh, we are here to help you. We are not a policeman, but we will not let you do things the way you want to. We will help you to get rid of the drug program, but you also understand that it is in your hand to be 100% benefit from the program. And I, as I say that you, you, you see this video and follow the guidelines, discuss with the doctor, read the side effects, read the uh, agreement that's called buprenorphine or suboxone agreement, read this in entirety, because we, f we follow, often time I have seen people who come once they have a problem, they say, oh, we did not know that this was written in the agreement. Read the contract, discuss it, discuss the side effect, and, uh, and we are here to help you. And if you have any question, feel free to ask me. Thank you very much for w watching this video, and I am pretty sure we will be glad to treat you.